Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. This is Luchka from the Naked Scientists, and this week we go in search for cavemen's names. Hey scientists, this is Kat from Kansas City, Missouri. I was reading a Gary Larson comic the other day and noticed all the cavemen had silly names. And it got me wondering, did cavemen even have names? When did human beings start naming themselves? We ask you what you thought on Facebook. Alejandro wrote, Did you suppose the first name was an insult? Mammoth knows? And Andrew thinks, I think early humans would have given names to their young out of affection rather than necessarily like we do today. To get to the bottom of this caveman mystery, I enlisted the help of linguist Professor Shigaro Miyagawa from MIT. But first, what do we mean by cavemen? Are they found beyond the realms of cartoons? The thing to keep in mind is that the idea of cavemen is, for the most part, fiction that was created by popular culture. It's based on things that appear to be real. A lot of things have been discovered in caves, like paintings and uh, artifacts with symbols. But the image of them hunting alongside dinosaurs, for example, is a romantic fiction of evolution. Got you. So let's step away from the cavemen like Fred Flintstone and look instead at our own species, Homo sapiens. How did we first start to communicate with each other? Well, there are a lot of theories, as you could imagine. One theory says that they communicated in single words, just like monkeys. Some monkeys have a single word system, like snake, leopard, and eagle, to let the others know that a prey, like a leopard, is nearby. Another theory, which is by Charles Darwin, says that pre-humans communicated by singing, just like birds. He observed that bird song is the nearest analogy to human language, and birds sing to attract mate. So maybe our ancestors communicated this desire to mate by singing. Which of these is true, single word system or singing? Well, we don't really know because language doesn't fossilize. Actually, what I think is that both were probably true. Our ancestors communicated in words to warn others of a prey in the vicinity, and singing to attract mate. This singing could have been an early framework for things like grammar and the early start of language. But back to the original question, when did names come along? It's probably a fairly recent thing. Human language appeared uh, only recently, some say about 100,000 years ago. That was around the time that Homo sapiens were migrating out of uh, East Africa into the Eurasian continent. They were hunter-gatherers, and the hunter-gatherer society was fairly egalitarian and compact in size. But once farming became possible around 10,000, maybe 12,000 years ago, you had more fixed roles and a larger community of people. So you had to come up with a way to distinguish individuals, to identify them in a larger community, and to assign particular functions. That's when you started to assign names. So names may have turned up when we first started to farm, about 12,000 years ago. But can we really say for sure? I wish that we could go back in time and see if this is true. But the tools of linguistics only allow us to go back a few thousand years, which is not enough. Certainly the origin of human language uh, in evolution is one of the great mysteries of science. The best we can do without a time machine. Thanks, Shigeru. Next week, we will be scanning the horizon to answer Lot's question. How did the moon get its markings? If you think you have the answer, or if you have a question for us, then please get in touch. Email chris at thenakedscientist.com, find us on Facebook, Twitter at The Naked Scientist, or join on the debate on the forum. We look forward to hearing from you. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.